It's great to be back at Gallup. Uh, it was over a decade ago that, uh, where's Governor Blanchard? Jim Blanchard, our former chair, uh, and Jim Clifton, uh, the chair of Gallup, uh, conceived of this summit as an opportunity to bring leaders in government and business and the diplomatic community together to try to deal with shared challenges. And a lot has changed in diplomacy uh, since that. And Meridian is at the vanguard of trying to open up the aperture of diplomacy to bring in more actors, private sector, scientists, astronauts, athletes, cultural leaders, mayors, governors, because the government cannot solve our international challenges by itself. Uh, they need the help of all of us. And so we're delighted to have you as part of our Meridian family. I would like to uh, mention that there are a couple of uh, little questions that will be asked. One I have, which is, uh, I think I know what the answer is going to be, but I would invite each of you to, uh, to scan uh, the QR code um, on the screen. Um, and the question uh, that you will be prompted to answer is, in five years, will the geopolitical situation be more or less stable? So are you an optimist? Or are you a pessimist? Are you a glass is half full? Uh, and can we put the QR code back up? Oh, there it is. So, Governor Blanchard, uh, your ears should be burning. I was giving you uh, credit for being present at the creation of this event many years ago. I'd like to also uh, mention that our, our, our board chair and other board members, Fred Hochberg, uh, uh, is here. Uh, other board members, welcome to our corporate partners. Uh, in particular, I would like to thank uh, HP, our, our corporate chair this year, AWS, um, and our global uh, innovation, AWS, our, our, our global engagement chair, and global innovation chair is EV Passport, and you, you will see uh, terrific executives from those companies. And I'd also like to thank uh, the Ambassador Circle, CoStar, SCM, our media partner, Politico, um, and of course, Gallup. And also mention that we, uh, we have C-SPAN with us today, so we'll be able to watch ourselves later. Um, I wanted to just say what a privilege it has been uh, over the last uh, 17 years to be uh, at Meridian International Center. The, the, the mission is more vital, um, regardless of the outcome of the election. Uh, the fact that the United States needs to remain engaged and we need to offer hope uh, and partnership and strengthen alliances, uh, strengthen partnerships, all the big challenges that we're going to face uh, in the future require international cooperation diplomacy, and that's at the heart of what we do. So you're in for a treat today. There will be breaks. There will be catalyst discussions uh, during some of the breaks. I encourage you to get to know each other and, and meet each other. I think some of you all, I see Rich Guggenheim, who flew all the way from San Francisco. Uh, we have a friend who flew in from Dublin in the green dress, appropriately. So thank you all who have made the journey here, and, uh, and welcome again.